Hi everyone, I'm Philip Rademeyer. I am a writer and director. I work in theatre, television and film and I'm going to be your mentor adjudicator for the writer's category. Um, I'm at the table where I do most of my own writing and today I want to talk to you about uh, five principles that I want you to focus on and keep in mind uh, while preparing um, or writing your poem, short story, play or monologue. <laughs> First principle is to choose a topic and stick to it. One of the main difficulties uh, with writing is that sometimes we try to, to say too much or we try to deal with too many topics. Um, if your story or, or your poem uh, tries to deal with too many themes or topics, it can become confusing for the reader. So make sure that your poem or your story deals with one main idea or theme. Of course, there can be uh, other themes and sub-themes, but make sure that there is a central theme or idea that's guiding your story. As an exercise, try to tell yourself uh, in one sentence what your poem or story is about. This will make sure that you know what the essence of your story or poem is, and it will also make sure, as you write, that you don't include a lot of unnecessary information. Then when you are done writing your poem or your story, um, you have to proofread and edit it. Uh, it's important in general so that you can catch any uh, spelling mistakes or punctuation errors, but it's also really important to make sure that your piece of writing is coherent, um, that it sticks to the topic and that it makes sense. I suggest that you take your poem or your story and you read it to yourself out loud. And while you're reading and listening to the, to the words, ask yourself, is this necessary? Um, is this particular line or this piece of dialogue or this word, does it contribute to the storyline or the character um, or the mood that I want to create? A lot of writers will tell you that most of the things you write end up being cut or thrown out uh, because we always have to take out information that isn't relevant and that doesn't serve the story. Clarity is important. If it's unclear to you what your story or poem is really about, then it's going to be unclear to the reader as well. The second principle is to write about what you know and something you care about. Um, a famous writer once said uh, that writers only have two tools, language and experience. Uh, by experience, he meant that he meant your own life experience, everything that you have been through in your life. As writers, we have to um, be creative and we have to use our imaginations and sometimes we have to tell um, crazy or fantastical stories, but it's always a good idea to write about events or characters or situations that you're familiar with so that you can draw on your own experiences and life knowledge when you're writing. Um, if you do this, you'll also bring in a piece of yourself and your own personality into your writing. Uh, so if you have, uh, for example, a character that's struggling with a particular problem, think about uh, maybe someone you know who has struggled with a similar problem, or maybe you have struggled with uh, a similar problem. So think about what you were feeling when you were dealing with a problem, um, what you were thinking, how did other people react? If you, if you go back and, and draw from your own experiences, it will make your writing much more honest and, and true to life. Um, it's also a good idea to write about something that you're very passionate about. So choose a topic or idea that really, really interests you. If you write about something uh, that you know about and you bring a piece of yourself to your story or, or poem, uh, that is what will make it unique and will make it stand out. The third principle I want you to uh, think about is to use language creatively. Um, so regardless of what the, the content or theme of the story is, um, I'm talking about how you tell the story, which is important, how you use language. I will really be pay paying close attention to this um, when I'm going through your stories and poems. 
so using language creatively doesn't necessarily mean that you use a ton of adjectives or lots of flowery language, um, but it means that you have to be original in how you say things. Um, so writing doesn't always have to be literal. Um, in fact, a lot of really good writing uses images and metaphors and symbols to uh, to describe or convey things or, or events. Uh, using metaphors and images will help to paint a picture in the reader's mind, which means they'll be much more interested um, and engaged in what you're telling them. When we're writing, we are trying to create a world and we want the person reading our work to be part of that world. So you can use creative language to try and draw them in. If you want to talk about being in love, for example, you could say, um, it felt like I was floating. Um, but that's not necessarily very original or creative because I've heard that before. So try to make it specific to yourself. What does being in love feel like to you? If you make it uh, specific and detailed to yourself, it'll be much more unique. So maybe uh, love to you feels like the sun's first rays hitting you, hitting your skin after a cold night. Uh, and the fourth principle I want to talk about is planning your work. This is especially important when you're writing a longer piece. You have to write down the major plot points and the major actions um, and the major characters that your story is going to be dealing with so that when you're writing it, you know where things are going. Uh, your planning can be a list, it can be a mind map, it can even be a drawing. Uh, but the important thing is uh, that you have to think about what you're go going to write uh, before you start writing. As a writer myself, I know it's very tempting to just start writing, whether it's on a laptop or on a piece of paper, especially if you're excited about the idea. Uh, but it's really, really helpful to plan out your or map out your story or, or poem beforehand. The last principle I want to talk about um, is you have to remember that you want to take your reader on a journey. So you must know beforehand, what is this journey I want to take the reader on? What do I want them to feel or to think about when they are reading my poem or my story? Generally in the story, the journey you're taking uh, the reader on is a narrative one, which means uh, your reader experiences this, uh, your story through the storyline and, and characters, and these are the things that keep us engaged. Uh, your reader must feel like they are experiencing the events and situations with the characters, the realizations, the disappointments, uh, the highs and lows of the character. I must feel like I'm experiencing it with the people in the story. Uh, and generally in a poem, the journey you take the, the reader on is more of a, an emotional one. Poetry evokes feelings um, or a mood or an atmosphere in the reader. So what is the feeling that you want to create? What is the atmosphere you want to create? What do you want to happen in here in the reader? That's it, those are my five principles. Um, I want you to also remember that writing is not only a way uh, that we communicate with each other, but it's also a way uh, for us to try and understand the world and to try and understand other people and also to try and understand ourselves. And very importantly, writing is also a way in which we can express ourselves, our, our thoughts, our ideas and our personalities. So happy writing, be creative. Um, I'm really, really excited to, to read all your poems and stories and monologues and plays. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to see um, what creative things you uh, come up with.